Hey everyone, Johnny5 here from tapcritic.com. Gonna take a look at, well, I'm into it, but we'll let you see what the icon looks like. An app that we just got for the uh, iPad called Autodesk Sketchbook Pro. And it's exactly what it sounds like, a sketchbook. So I am in the uh, paintbrush tool. And as you can see, it's actually pretty good at figuring out uh, where your finger is and letting you color based on that. Um, let's look at some of the features really quick. Um, so I hit the pad with three fingers and it brings this guy up. You can change your brush properties very quickly by moving left and right, that changes the size. Opacity is up and down. Let's put it at 114. Um, so you click the brush and you can actually change the colors. Um, you can change the type of brush and there's tons of different types of brushes, um, which is really, really cool. Um, as I said, I'm just now getting into this um, as we just got the, uh, the device today. So if I'm less well-versed than you would like me to be, I apologize. Uh, you can have, a, you have line tools to create a line and you can also go in here, make squares, make circles and rectangles. You can zoom, or hold on, let's get out of this. You can zoom all the way out. Um, so yeah, there's tons of cool stuff to be done with this. You can uh, layer transform, which is really cool. So you can move just a layer. And that was the other cool thing, really cool thing, that uh, I wanted to show you guys. Here's the bad thing, once it goes off of the uh, edge of the canvas, you're kinda, you're kinda out of luck. Um, and it kind of erases some of that. So um, there was layer transform. Click the little check to say that you're done. And uh, what you can do is you can actually add multiple layers. And so if I work on this layer and draw, then I can move and resize just this layer and maybe put it up here so that it works. So that's really, really cool. The ability to work in layers on this device is awesome. Um, that being said, however, I don't think that this uh, pad is really a replacement for a, a pencil and a sketchbook or, you know, uh, Photoshop or any of those really high-end uh, high things for drawing and editing videos. Um, I think that it's nice to play with, um, but without a really specific stylus, which uh, I have yet to find that will let you do pinpoint accuracy with drawings, I think that uh, the, uh, the iPad and the iPhone both still have a way to go as far as uh, doing uh, really cool drawing applications. But as far as uh, what is out there and available right now, I think this looks like it might be your best bet. Uh, lots of different features, lots of different functions, uh, and lots of versatility. And uh, I'm sure if you're creative with it, you can do a lot of really fun things. As you can see, as I put more pressure, it, it, it you know, it registers the brush stroke as if it were an actual brush. So, so lots of cool things to do with it. You might want to check it out. I uh, believe it's $9.99, but don't quote me on that, on the uh, iTunes store. Um, and yeah, really taking advantage of the real estate of the iPad over the iPhone and uh, doing some cool things. So from tapcritic.com, I'm Johnny Five. I'll see you soon.